Yo, cuz you already know what's going on. This shit showed up on my feed like literally a couple hours ago, so you know I had to get in on this bitch. Of course, we are talking about Venom, the final dance. And judging by the name of the title, it probably means the end of the trilogy of Venom. Damn, is it, isn't it crazy that Venom got a trilogy? It doesn't seem like it. I don't know why, though. I have Venom over, you know, I have Venom over there. And this is a Venom shirt. It's odd. It's kind of retro, but like, it's like a toy. And on the back, it gives like exposition about the toy. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it looks cool. So I'll wear it. And it's the, it's the only Venom merch I have right now. So you got to stick with it, right? Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Venom. I mean, the first movie was chill. Uh, I, I, it was all right. Riz Ahmed played a good villain. I mean, the villain was, eh, it was pretty generic. I want to take over the world, evolutional. I mean, it's not like I'm not. He's not like a bad villain, but it's not like like the greatest. You know, I'm not gonna put him up there with Thanos. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, he was all right, and the fact that he was also a symbiote riot that was interesting. The symbiote fights by far are like the best parts of this entire of the of all these movies. Um, yeah, I mean the humor. Uh, you either like it or you either hate it. You either like the funny type of venom or you like the more you know dark and sinister venom because this kind of <laughs> this venom is pretty funny like he's um completely he's not like for how freaky he looks like bro looks like something came out of hell you know what i'm saying but like he's so lighthearted and, and he's always cracking jokes which is i don't know you either love it or you either do i like it i i wouldn't mind having a darker venom i, I really would not right um especially if you read the comics you know that, that that's the case right because he, he just hates spider-man so much but the whole point of venom was that like he needs to have spider-man you can't have venom story without spider-man you know what i'm saying because he spawned because you know if you don't know the whole history it, uh, the venom symbiote came on spider-man first but then he's like i can't it take to get the shit off because he realized oh i can't be i can't be doing that uh eventually spider-man was too sick of getting so much pussy and so he's like you know what? i can't have this venom symbiote it's corrupting me because it gets so much pussy so i mean um, yeah, I mean, uh, so that's why he, he rejected the, the, the symbiote it, and then the symbiote found his way to Eddie Brock who also has a grudge against Peter Parker because he got him fired or some shit. No, I think I read somewhere in the comics that he got fired, he got cancer and his parents disowned him on the same day. Yeah, yeah Eddie, that happened to Eddie Brock. He got fired, found out he had cancer and then his parents disowned him on the same, I think he probably lost his engagement too, probably, I'm not sure. But yeah, just a really, really bad day for my guy, Eddie Brock here, right? Just, just at the bottom of the bail right here. I mean, it's very bad for this man, right? Uh, all the things that could, all the bad things that could happen to you, it, it happened to you on the same day. So, I mean, and on the same day, I'm pretty sure he also found the Venom symbiote who also hates Spider-Man. So, I mean, it was a match made in hell, wasn't it, right? And that's why he hated so much, and that's why he's like, I'm gonna kill you, Parker, and shit like that, right? So to have a Venom story without Spider-Man, um, it's hard to pull off because I mean, like, what good is a hero if you got? What good is a hero if he doesn't have a villain? And and this Venom, more more or less, is an anti-hero, right? And you know, if you if you read the comics, you know that like, uh, Venom him himself, like, of course, you start off as a Spider-Man villain, but he trickles out into an anti-hero to the point where he sometimes helps Spider-Man in his endeavors and shit like that, like against Carnage, right? Uh, Venom helped Spider-Man against Carnage and Carnage is straight-up villain. He's never he's never a uh, Spider-Man's friend ever But um, yeah, no Venom and Spider-Man have like an on on again off again type thing, right? To some extent, right? I guess they made amends or something. Fuck. They made amends or some shit, right? Shit my fucking headphones Where am I? Yeah, okay. So yeah, a little brief history of Venom and how he came So yeah, to have a movie without Spider-Man is very awkward and honestly um, I'm hoping somehow that there's Spider-Man in this movie. I I'm not, I don't know how how plausible that is. I'm not sure if that's possible because of the whole Sony Marvel Disney bullshit, right? But let's not forget that for some reason, for some reason in like the what was it like the the credits of what was it No Way Home or was okay was it No Way Home or Far From Home? I can't remember. But in one of those movies, in the post credit scene, we saw this man. If if you haven't seen it, check it out. I mean, it's very interesting because what the fuck is um, Tom Hardy's uh, Venom. So we know this is not just any Venom. It's Tom Hardy's Venom from 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 the Venom One and Venom Let There Be Carnage, right? He's in the MCU all of a sudden. Uh, it didn't make me. It didn't really make any sense what he's doing there because he got blipped there somehow. Somehow, maybe when they opened the rift. You know how when the other Spider-Man came, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. So I'm guessing he came in too after Spider-Man. Yeah, I think it was a post-credit scene of No Way Home. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But yeah, no Venom. Tom Hardy's Venom was in the MCU. So I'm wondering. Is this a part of the MCU or is it part of his own separate trilogy like he's uh, Venom 1, Let There Be Carnage and uh, The Final Dance, right? 
I don't know, uh, but it'd be really interesting to see because you got you got you got to have a Venom and Spider Man. You got you, you you can't not do that. You can't make a Venom story without having a Spider Man. It has to happen, right? And this Venom versus um, Tom Holland, I think it's a good fit because um, Tom Holland's Spider Man is like very funny and this and that. But then so is this Venom. He's not as menacing as like the comic Venom you'd see, right? Um, like, yeah, it, it kind of takes away from it because, like, oh, Venom's so freaking cool, but, like, he's always cracking jokes. It's kind of annoying, not gonna lie to you. I, I Once again, I would prefer a darker Venom, but, I mean, uh, we'll take what we can get, right? And this is the ending of the trilogy, apparently. I did not, I did not expect this movie of all, of all play, of all, of all movies to get, a, to get a trilogy. It's actually kind of surreal. Because the first Venom was, like, it was alright, it sold fine, but it wasn't, like, groundbreaking. It was just, like, a, an okay movie. Let There Be Carnage was all, all once again they're all very mediocre movies in my opinion they, i don't think they do the character justice um it's not bad but it's not great either like it's okay it's definitely not the, the best venom movie we could get you know what i'm saying you know what i'm trying to say because like uh, venom without spider-man is, is kind of incomplete isn't it almost all the iconic venom storylines have spider-man in them because that's the whole point right so to do it without that Right, and of course, in the second movie, we had Carnage, which is also very interesting. Um, I kind of didn't like how Carnage was bigger than Venom, because in comics-wise, um, in the comics, Carnage is smaller, but he's so much more stronger, which is, which kind of is a cool dynamic, because Venom's bigger, but Carnage is smaller, but he's just stronger, because he has that killer mindset. He's definitely, like, unhinged, psychopathic killer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Car uh, Carnage was fine. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, once again, they're all just mediocre. I'd probably give him, like, a like a six or a seven on on a scale and they're definitely not perfect venom movies but they're all right um some people like the first one more than the second one i could see that why i could see why uh i don't know uh i don't I actually don't, i'm not sure uh, they're just really mediocre in my opinion uh let's see if this does anything different than that i would really like it if it was darker to be completely honest and they kind of ditched that humor because once again this humor this is a sony movie right it's not even part of the mcu but it still has that marvel humor not to that extent, because it, it, uh, Marvel humor is kind of like really f stupid, and it's just really redundant. Uh, but uh, I don't know. There, there are characters you do humor with, and there's characters you don't do humor with, and I don't think Venom is one of those. Like, of course you can have humor, but not like that kind. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's just really weird. So yeah, basically my hopes for this uh, for this movie, we gotta have Spider-Man somehow. It'd be the perfect ending to the trilogy. And seeing as how in the in the post credit scene of No Way Home, we saw him in the MCU. So they're in the same universe now. They should probably do something with that. You know, it'd be extremely missed opportunity if they didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But enough yammering. All right, this is uh, Venom, the final dance. Three, two, one. Oh, we're getting right into it. Oh, oh, oh! There are more, more, more. Oh, wow! From Clintar, more motherfuckers coming from Clintar. That's gonna be cool. This is what happened. He was in. Really dark and unpredictable sight. To me. That that he, this is him in, in the post credit scene. He's wearing the same clothes. I remember. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. Mm, all right. Say when. When. Bl bro flew. Hmm. It's always cool. Yeah. It still bothers me. He doesn't have the the white spider logo on his chest. I mean, it's all right, but come on. You know what I'm saying? You know the outfit he's wearing in his uh, vacation. What? We are. We're Venom. We are. Venom. No. Oh. Yeah, we. We are. Venom. We're gonna need to work on that. It's funny, right? I mean, but like, I think he and then he bites her head off. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. To all the finest places. Is he in Mexico? I think he's in Mexico. That's what he looked like in the post credit scene for No Way Home, by the way. He was in that, he was in his vacation. He always knew it was uh, impossible. I think. Vacation attire. Right. Laid back attire. But we were alone in the universe. I know that guy. Mordo? Mordo? Is that Mordo? And it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. Oh, they're hunting him now, of course. It reminds me of the way the government hunted Hulk in the 2008 movie. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying the shit. Oh, they're tasing him. But his only weakness is uh, sound and fire, right? Damn, Mr. Chen. Honestly, looks bad as fuck. Not gonna lie to you. Dude. I always thought she was bad. Not gonna lie. There has to be a reason they're after us. Even when she wasn't wearing that dress, I thought she was bad. Hundred percent. Death smash. Yeah, so all those are all other symbiotes. Oh shit. 
What in the living shit is that? Wow. One ugly motherfucker, right? Wow. Till death do us part, let me guess. Do they part? <clears throat> oh, that guy. I know that guy. He was a cop in the last movie. He's gonna be. We may not make it out of this alive. The cop. The cop had a symbiote in it. In it by the way. The time right, is come. You think you can get that thing to go without killing it? Only one way to find out. <laughs> oh no, no! Wow, that is the coolest fucking thing I've seen. Symbiote horse. Oh wow, that is honestly so freaking cool. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, they love doing that. He did that in the first movie too, where he he was on the motorcycle and then he was in the air and then the the tendrils pulled him in. Okay, a lot to unpack there. So okay, we got the main premise. He said, my people are back. Meaning from the Clintar planet. That's where they all came from, right? Planet Clintar, if I'm not mistaken. So all of his other brethren and sisterin. Sisterin? That's not a word. Uh, they're, they're back for what, whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, okay. Uh, there's the government guy, Mordo. He is hunting him down. Kind of, once again, like I said, it reminds me of the way they hunted Hulk down in 2008. Because, oh, you're a problem. You're this and that, right? We got to extract... The symbiote and shit, whatever. I, I, I get it, right? It seems like he's wearing his. <laughs> it seems like he's wearing those beach shorts and those and that Hawaiian shirt the entire movie, which is just hilarious to me. And that's what I get. Right? I mean, like the whole we are venom thing. Yeah, the whole thing they did over there. How it's like it's supposed to be funny, right? But like it, it kind of does take out of it, doesn't it? Right? I mean, once again, like humor is great. I, I don't know. Because uh, it, 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 then uh, you would never expect venom, a venom story, to be like a comedy, right? You never expected it to be a comedy, but it kind of is a comedy if you think about it, right? Miss Chen, she, honestly, like once again, even when she was, even when she wasn't wearing that dress, um, even when she was in the convenience store, I knew she was a baddie, 100%. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I have, I have an eye for these things, okay? I have an eye for these things, right? Like, I don't care if she's your grandma, dude. I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> Miss Chen isn't a grandma, though. I didn't mean to call her a grandma. She's. She looks, uh, she's definitely like mature and you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Can't stand girls nowadays, <laughs> honestly. If you can't stand, if you can't stand girls your age nowadays and you know what's next, you know what's the next best thing, right? Her mom. But anyways, <laughs> uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. But, um, <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. That cop, I know. Cause at the end of the movie when he, he supposedly died, like there was some shit in his eyes, meaning he got some symbiote in him as well i remember i remember seeing that and i remember that's also alluding to the comics where there was a cop and i forgot his name what was the name though what was the symbiote's name it wasn't no it was something else what was it there was scream in the second movie but not really because we didn't actually see her in a symbiote form uh yeah i don't remember the, but i know that the cop has a symbiote in him and that could be something so far we haven't really seen an antagonist i guess the government those army guys are one anta antagonist that giant thing on the plane whatever the living shit that was um in all things unholy what i don't know what the fuck that was right <clears throat> uh yeah th that thing but i'm guessing that was just like a set piece which looked really interesting because like he's fighting on top of a plane that looks pretty fucking cool right yeah i i, I guess i'm just not a huge fan of like the the, the humor because i feel like uh you know venom is quite a, a serious situation, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because it, you make a joke about that and then you go straight to biting their heads off. I mean, it's a little inconsistent, don't you think? Like, I kind of wish it wasn't so jokey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm still going to watch it because, you know, it's Venom and it's cool. It might be some good fun. I don't expect it to be, like, ama amazing. I expect it to be as mediocre as the past two ones. I mean, once again, the past two ones were just, like, a good time for passing... I don't know. It's not like... I still... Th I don't think it's, like, the definitive Venom movies you want to watch because... They lean too much into comedy, and I feel like it takes out of it. Um, Because, once again, Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock and Venom have never been, like, jokers. They've never been, like, the joking kind. So, I don't know. Uh, like, I'm not saying they may not have a personality. I'm pretty sure everyone has a personality, right? But, like, it's just a little odd, you know? Uh, because the tone of the movies makes it feel more like a comedy, right? And that's, that's, that's just the truth of it. I mean, that's how the movies have been made, and that's the way it's been. So I, it kind of it kind of it kind of does bother me that we can't. It's not like the venom, the dark kind of venom stories you want. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you want that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Haven't seen anti venom yet. 
Probably never will, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, it looks interesting. I mean, like I said, I, I don't expect it to be amazing. I, I just expect it to be just as good as the previous two ones. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it could be interesting. I don't know. I'll also watch it because why the fuck not? And, uh, yeah, anything else to talk about in this movie? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, another thing about these movies is that they focus a lot on, like, the essential bromance between Eddie and Venom, right? And they really lean into it quite a bit to the point where they're acting like an old married couple. And it is, I mean, it's interesting. I could imagine, like, that's how you would do it if you had another voice in your head. But, uh, it's like you're living with a roommate or something. I don't know. Um, I guess it's interesting, but like once again, it's not like, oh, you know, what's the deep psychological implications of having a venom in your head? Because they pass it off with comedy. So you can't really take it seriously that, oh my god, what would it actually feel like to have a symbiote inside you? Not that way, but like, on top of you. Not that way either, but like, a part of you. I guess that makes sense, right? Uh, be because every time you try to get serious about like, uh, these situations, it, they just resort to comedy. Which I think really detracts from the experience and the whole uh, story you're trying to tell. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you can't take it seriously because, I mean, they're always joking about stuff, you know? I don't know. I mean, it looks interesting. I like Tom Hardy. He's definitely one of the better, better actors uh, nowadays. Um, he kills every role he's in, right? And if anything's, if, 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 if he's in a bad movie, it's usually not because of his acting. It's because of the writing. And that's usually like 90% of, of the time. If it's a good actor but a bad movie, that means it's just bad writing, you know? Shut the fuck up, you cunt! <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Le Venom, let their... I mean, le Venom, uh, th the final dance. Cool. We are Venom. Facts.